A little bit louder, Brian. I can't hear you. I got 30 plus 30. That'll give me 60. And then I add 6 plus 7. That'll give me 60. And then I'll add 30. I mean, 60 plus uh, 16. So you did 30 plus 30 and then 6 plus 7. Uh-huh. And you got 60. And then what'd you get for the 6 and 7? 16. 16? Yeah. You got, you got 16 for this? Oh, you, you might want to check that. 7 and 6 is not 16. 7 and 6 is what, guys? 13. Okay? So we got 73. Okay. Let me ask you, Brian. Do you remember the strategy we did yesterday with Mr. Morrow? When, when she was saying, hmm, what are these two numbers closer to? They're closer to 40 than they are 30, right? Okay. So if I just did a 40... Plus a 40, I would get an 80, right? And then what would I subtract? What would I subtract? I added four here. I added three here. So what would I subtract? Seven. Seven, right? So I subtract seven, and I get my same answer. Is that 73 the same as that 73? Yeah. Okay, who's got a different strategy? Thanks for sharing. Who's got a different strategy? Daniel in the back. I, I would, I would Say that again. I would take three from 36. You take three from 36, and that gave you what? 33. Oh, I like where you're going with this. I like where you're going with this. I add the three to 37. Ah, so, okay. So instead of going up to 40 on both numbers, you just went up to 40 on one number. Yes? So you added the 3 to the 37, and that gave you 40, and then you just added them together, right? And that gave you what? 73. Did you give any thought to doing the strategy we learned yesterday? Did that, did that cross your mind? It's okay if it didn't. I'm just trying to get your mindset. Okay. Well, it must have crossed your mind because you did it for half the problem. Okay? Brandon, you look very eager to share. Go ahead. I added 30 plus 30. 30 plus 30. And then they gave me 60. Okay. And then I added 2 to 6. I added, I added 60 to 6. Okay. And that gave you what? That gave me 66. Okay. And then I added 66. Okay. Okay. Now, you see, Brandon's strategy is a little bit longer. Okay? He didn't round up like we learned yesterday. He rounded down. So he, he figured out, hey, you know what? I'm more comfortable with a smaller number. I'm going to go 30. Yesterday, we were looking at this. We were saying round it up. If you had to round these numbers, what would 36 round to? 40, because it's 5 and above, I got to give it a And what about if it were 4 and below, what would I do? What about 37? Is it 5 or above? So I should give it a Okay, that's what we learned yesterday. Recap with what we learned yesterday. Round up and then subtract the remain, you know, what you what you added on, okay? So if we round it up here, we would add four, like right here. If we round it up here, we would add three. Three and four together. Now I gotta subtract seven from my 80. There it is. I get a seven three, okay? Um, I wanna share one more strategy before we go to another number. Who has, who has a strategy different than any of these? So everybody went with this type of strategy, either rounding up or rounding down, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Erase your boards, please. Yeah. 